determining whether lines are parallel or perpendicular. The two lines in figure 28 are parallel lines. They will never intersect. They have exactly the same steepness, which means their slopes are identical. The only difference between the two lines is the y-intercept. The y-intercept for the red line is 7. We can see that the y-intercept for the blue line is 1. Now, if we shifted one line vertically toward the y-intercept of the other, they would become coincident, meaning that if you brought this red line over to the blue line, that means that they would be equal. Now, we can determine their equations, whether two lines are parallel by comparing their slopes. Now, if their slopes are the same and the y-intercepts are different, then the lines are going to be parallel. If the slopes are different, then the lines are not parallel. So in here, we have f of x, which is equal to negative 2x plus 6. And then we have uh, f of x is equal to negative 2x minus 4. So here we can see that we have the same slope, but different y-intercept. So that means that they are parallel. Okay, now if we take a look at the next example, we have a slope of 3 and a slope of 2 and we have the same y-intercept, then they are not parallel. Now, unlike parallel lines, perpendicular lines do intersect. The intersection forms a right angle or a 90 degree angle, and the two lines in figure 29 are perpendicular. Now, perpendicular lines do not have the same slope. The slopes of perpendicular lines are different from one another in a specific way. The slope of one line is the negative reciprocal of the slope of the other line. The product of a number in the reciprocal is positive 1. So if the first slope and the second slope are negative reciprocals of one another, they can be multiplied together to yield the number negative 1. So the first slope times the second slope is going to equal negative 1. Now to find the reciprocal of a number, you divide 1 by the number. So the reciprocal of 8 is 1 over 8 and the reciprocal of 1 over 8 is 8. To find the negative reciprocal, first find the reciprocal and then change the sign. As with parallel lines, we can determine whether two lines are perpendicular by comparing their slopes, assuming that the lines are neither horizontal nor vertical. The slope of each line below is the negative reciprocal of the other, so the lines are perpendicular. So if we take a look at this slope here, it has, and then we have a slope here, we can see that 1 fourth has a negative reciprocal of negative 4. And the negative reciprocal of negative 4 is positive 1 fourth. So if we multiply them together, it gives us a product of negative 1. So parallel and perpendicular lines. Two lines are parallel if they do not intersect. The slope of the lines are the same. So f of x is equal to the first slope times x plus the first y-intercept and g of x is going to equal the second slope times x plus the second y-intercepts, and are parallel if the first slope is equal to the second slope. Now, if and only if the y-intercepts are equal to each other and the slopes are equal to each other, we say the lines coincide. Coincident lines are the same line. Two lines are perpendicular if they intersect at right angles. f of x is equal to the first slope times x plus the second slope, and g of x is equal to the second slope times x plus the second y-intercept. They are perpendicular if and only if the first slope times the second slope is equal to negative 1, and the other slope is going to be the negative reciprocal.